Germany has rolled out the world's first hydrogen-powered train, called the Caradia Alint, built by the French TGV maker Alstrom. The Coradia Alint is the first low-floor passenger train worldwide, powered by a hydrogen fuel cell, which produces electrical power. This zero-emission train is silent and only emits steam in condensed water, and any excess energy is stored in iron-lithium batteries on board the train. The hydrogen tank feeds a fuel cell that generates energy, which is then pushed to an electrical drivetrain. And it also has a small battery, which helps maintain power continuity, as well as storing energy saved from regenerative braking. These new hydrogen trains can run for about 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers on a single tank of hydrogen, similar to the range of diesel trains, and will run 100 kilometer trips at up to 87 miles or 140 kilometers per hour. Elstrom has made the train so they operate in the same way as existing diesel trains, to avoid any culture shock for passengers and crew, except that they need to refuel their 1,000km capacity tanks at dedicated H2 fueling stations. These trains would be a great addition to any regional area where diesel trains currently run. They may be more expensive to buy, but are cheaper to run. Not to mention they are quiet and have zero emissions. Elstrom says that other countries are also looking into buying their trains, including the UK, the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, Italy, and Canada. Now, Elstrom may be a French company, but I was traveling on my local train in Melbourne, Australia, and I noticed the logo imprinted on the floor of the train said Elstrom. And I thought to myself, oh wow, we even have their trains here in Australia. Their hydrogen trains would be a great fit for Australia, as most of our cities are 800 kilometers apart from each other. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.